Wearing any of these designer fragrances here are guaranteed to impress everyone around you. And there's a simple reason why that is. It's because people don't smell these often. These are not the type of things that you would smell every day. And people get accustomed to things like that. You think of Sauvage, a lot of the blue fragrances, the aquatics and all of that stuff. When you're used to smelling that type of thing everywhere you go, you almost don't even notice it anymore. And I'm not saying that those fragrances aren't going to get you good results these days because they still can. But if you really want to take it to the next level, you can wear some things that make you stand out in a big way. And contrary to popular belief, you don't need to spend hundreds and hundreds of dollars per bottle on niche to accomplish this. You can do it with designers. You just have to know where to look and what to buy. And that's what we're going to be going over today. I'm going to drop links to these down below. Great fragrances here. Even if you're on a budget, these are still going to work for you. A lot of these you can find for well under $100. It's not going to be an issue. If you're on the hunt for anything rare, discontinued, or hard to find, you can jump on my mailing list and texting list at the link and number down below. Like I've said before, this time of year is the time to be on the lookout because of Black Friday, Cyber Monday, all of the holiday sales and stuff that you've probably seen a little bit of already. It's not the end yet. It's still ramping up. I can tell you there's some big stuff coming in towards the end of the month here and a big sale. So if you want to be the first to know about that, jump on below. But let's go ahead and get things kicked off with Hugo Boss, The Scent Magnetic. So The Scent line is a fantastic line that realistically you could probably choose any of them within the line and kind of fit the uh, purpose of this video. They're all super unique and they're not kind of uh, following the same traditional path that a lot of other designer brands and designer lines follow. Within this line, there also isn't a ton of redundancy either. One thing that's important to note is they all focus around the Maninka fruit note. So that note stays the same. It's a very distinct smell. And so therefore you pick it up throughout the entirety of the line. Maybe some would call that a redundancy factor, but I think each flanker brings its own twist to the table just enough to where it doesn't really come across that way to me. And they've just been continuing to make them better and better. Now they, there's a few really good ones that came out a while ago, Private Accord, and Absolute and stuff like that. But um, this new magnetic one is really unique. It's got this bran note, which kind of gives it a little bit of a kind of a wheat powdery smell, kind of bizarre when you uh, say it out loud and explain it. But it's one of those things where when you smell this one, you'll understand what I'm talking about. That alone gives this such a unique texture and unique smell that really makes it stand out. Almost like it has this, I don't know, this dry malt type of smell. You know, almost like it's trying to get into the category of a kind of a, a whiskey scent or something, but it's not quite making it there. I don't know how to describe it, but it is something that is really quite different in a good way. So if you're one that kind of has noticed that a lot of new designer releases smell very similar to each other, that this is one where you don't have to worry about that as much. If you want to stand out and smell unique and, and have something a little bit more different and exciting for you, check out Boss the Scent Magnetic. Next up, we have Polo Double Black by Ralph Lauren. Now, this is nothing new, been out for a while now, uh, but I really like this one because it uses this unique mixture of coffee and mango, which is not something you would think would go together, at least I wouldn't, but it does and it works well. Alongside of that, you get pepper and some nutmeg, which is giving it a very prominent spicy kick off the top, but then you dry down to a nice mixture of a bit of a sweet fruitiness and then a roasted coffee beans accord. So I find this one to be very interesting from start to finish. So if you like coffee, like me, both the smell and the taste, this is something to look into. I believe on discounters, this is very reasonable, uh, $60 or so, somewhere around in there. Um, double check on this. It is, yeah, 125 ml, so a little bit more price per mil going for you in this direction. 
standard size is 100 so you're getting a little bit more still for a very reasonable price i do recommend checking this one out you know it's a scent from a very big very popular l'oreal brand uh, but you're not going to see too many people wearing polo double black you know whereas maybe they would be wearing polo red and polo blue and even polo green more and this one not so much so a great way to uh, kind of separate yourself from the crowd and already I'm putting in another Hugo Boss scent and it's probably funny because most people wouldn't think of Hugo Boss as one of the first brands that come to mind when talking about maybe kind of unique scents that turn heads. Um, not hating on Hugo Boss, but they do have a lot of offerings that are very entry level, very base level, nothing too exciting and crazy. But they also have a few, especially as of recently, that have really been raising the bar and this one here just might be one of their best works within the past few years. Like this might even be better than um, a lot of uh, other new releases that have been coming out within the past couple years from rivaling brands. Like this stuff is impressive. It is Hugo Boss bottled elixir. So this one has frankincense, patchouli, and cedarwood. There is something special about this one. It's smoky, it's rich, it's woody, it's sweet. A little bit of a spicy kick, as you could probably imagine, coming from the frankincense kind of smoky spiciness combination there. Um, but I don't know, there's something about this one that is just super unique. And it does remind me of a few things a little bit. Um, I don't know, a little bit of like a slight Bentley for men intense smell a little bit small amount just it has the same type of uh, maybe it's the uh, incensey patchouli type of smell it has a little bit of that going on and the cedar wood um, a lot of people have claimed that it reminds them a little bit of Sauvage Elixir and I can kind of see where that's coming from a little bit but not as much um, maybe it does have a little bit more of a a masculine classic feel and so fair enough um, but I'm telling you guys this one is impressive you know Hugo Boss bottled like intense is really good discontinued of course and since then they've released a few other great flankers they have a parfum and stuff like that which is pretty good has some iris in it um, but this one probably takes the cake as one of their best works yet within this uh, Boss bottled line really impressive and another one that is incredibly unique if you want to stand out if you're tired of everything just kind of running together and smelling similar go for this one i think it's on discounters now so it's pretty reasonable love it this is great for this time of year now that it's getting cold i can't wait to wear it more in the winter time and you'll probably see this one popping up in my winter designer list video Next up, we have Versace the Dreamer. Now, this is going to be like the new version you buy on discounters. You know, they have one that was released back in the 90s, like mid 90s, I think. And then one that was released sometime in the 2010s, I think. And that's what this says here. So it's got tobacco blossom, juniper and iris, among some other florals and things like that. Um, get some musk in here. It's fresh. The tobacco blossom. It's important to note. It's not like a rich and smoky tobacco scent. You know, it's more of a um, kind of aromatic, light tobacco style scent, uh, much fresher than your standard straight up tobacco fragrance. So if you're someone who's a bit sensitive to that note and maybe you're not the biggest fan of it, this is a different style. I find this to be a lot fresher, um, aromatic, has a little bit of a spicy kick as well. Um, also very uh, upscale. This is not something that smells super young, super playful, in fact, quite the opposite. It has a little bit more of a premium smell, a little bit more of a grown up and mature smell, but also it's, I think, like $30. It's cheaper than a lot of the other Versace scents, and already Versace is not an expensive brand. So I recommend this one highly. If you're after something a bit unique and you're on a budget, I mean, for the price of this one, you can at least give it a try. It's really good. Prada Loam Intense is up next. You can finally get this one again. You know, there was a point where it was sold out for months and months. Now it's back, you know, um, 100 mils in stock for a good price. What I love so much about this is the leather in here. So still has the Prada Loam DNA, 
but a little bit heavier, richer from the leather and tonka bean. It, it makes it more interesting to me. And that's not a dig on Prada alone, but it is simply a soapy, clean men's floral. And that's fine. It has a ton of uses. It's super versatile. You're paying, you know, 90 to 100 bucks for it, but you're getting your money's worth out of it because you can wear it every day. But for me, it's one of those deals where I have other fragrances that I can wear every day for any situation that are a little bit more interesting to me. And this one kind of fills that role as well. Because it has the leather and tonka, it gives it some more depth and some more base, but it also doesn't push it to the point where it's, um, you know, hard to pull off or anything like that. Might not be quite as versatile as the original, but still very easy to wear, and uh, I love it. I think this is the best flanker within the line, one that I recommend picking up whenever you have the chance to get it. If you don't have it yet, I'll link it down below for you. If you hit the link, it'll give you the best price. I recommend Prada Loma Intense highly. It even has better performance than the original as well. Let's go for the original Bentley for men. So this one is going to be a bit lighter and a bit easier to pull off compared to Bentley for Men Intense, which I kind of touched on briefly earlier when talking about that um, Boss Bottle Elixir there. Uh, Bentley for Men Intense is great. I love it, but it's not for everybody. It's a bit too overpowering. You'll notice a pretty substantial difference between the Intense and this original here in terms of just the composition and how it's made up and and the heaviness of it like this one is substantially lighter when you smell it um, still has great performance but it just isn't as dense and and heavy you know because bentley for men intense is something that really takes it to the extreme it's very smoky sweet has a lot of cedar wood in there it's very masculine and old school this one is just a lot easier to get along with and you'll also find that the general public would probably appreciate this one a little bit more on kind of a you know a numbers game standpoint than the intense so all i'm saying is you're more likely to get overall better feedback across the board with the original than with the intense now that being said the intense is one that i still probably prefer because i like that added base and and just how it's turned up to 10 but this one is still good from a wearable standpoint Let's go with the grape soda scent up next. It is Dunhill Icon, and yes, it really does smell like grape soda off the opening. It is the weirdest thing, but I'm telling you, if you haven't smelled it, you're in for a treat because uh, when you open this one up, man, it smells like fizzy, bubbly grape soda on a spring day, really. You know, I don't drink grape soda anymore, but uh, I did when I was a kid, and it just reminds me of that. I don't know. It's bizarre. It's got neroli, uh, has a lot of musk, uh, petty grain as well. Um, get some other florals in here, pepper. It is something where when you look at the notes, you wouldn't expect it to smell this way, but it does. And it's, it's interesting in a good way. So this is something that when you spray it on and you wear it, people are going to pick up on it and really be intrigued. You know, they're going to be wondering what it is that you're wearing and they're probably going to be prompted to ask you. This is also, I don't know, $35, maybe $40 or so. Very affordable. The bottle is super heavy, high quality. Um, quality of the scent itself is above average for this price range. Definitely one to check out. Nothing new. It's been hyped up before, but it's still one you can wear and, and people are going to love. Zara Wanted by Night is up next. It's one that you can grab for just a touch under 80 bucks now, so it's finally coming down a little bit below retail there. It's got cinnamon, has tobacco and fruity notes. It's my favorite flanker, you know, of the entire line. The most wanted parfum is right behind it, but this is still the top one for me. It's my go-to choice when I'm wanting something that is fruity, but also sweet uh, for the cooler times of the year. It's, in fact, it's great for fall right now. You get that fruitiness, which is providing a freshness. You get the cinnamon, which is a very good cinnamon note. It smells like, uh, those cinnamon sticks or like those cinnamon brooms that you might decorate your house with that give off that fall smell. It's got a very, very distinct cinnamon accord in here that works great. Keep saying that word so many times. It doesn't even sound like a word anymore. Cinnamon. Yeah. And then also tobacco, not a ton, but a little bit to give it a bit of a rich smokiness. Um, all comes together to create something that still has the very much 
likable, want a DNA, so people are gonna love how it smells, um, has great performance, a great wearability for this time of year. Wanted by Night is a fan favorite for a reason, it just works. This Loam Ideal EDT by Guerlain is another one that people are gonna love the smell of because it's different. It uses the almond to a heavy extent here, and this one is gonna be much lighter than the EDP and the Extreme and Lintense and pretty much all of the others, except for maybe uh, Platine Privé. But uh, what I like about this one is that it's uh, forgotten about. You know, when you hear Loam Ideal, People are talking the EDP and the Extreme and all of those others all the time. You just don't hear about this one anymore. I like the fresh aspect of this one, but it still has that sweet, creamy almond in here. Uh, the EDT is really good. I believe that it's underrated because you just don't hear about it. People are obsessed with the others. And to be fair, the others are good and they are my favorites. But this one is not one to be forgotten about. It's gonna be quite a bit more affordable than the other ones still has that signature DNA, it is unique, it's got great quality, and you might find that you can wear this one in a lot of other situations where maybe you wouldn't feel comfortable wearing the others, given that it just has a little bit of a lighter character to it, um, but still has overall a great progression from opening to dry down. It's one that'll keep you interested and hooked the whole time, definitely one to consider. Last up, we have Dolce & Gabbana Intenso. So, this is one that's a bit interesting. It's very aromatic. It's got lavender, tobacco, clary sage, a ton of other notes. There's hay in here as well, which is adding to that aromatic overall feel. This is not for everybody, it's different. There's even watery notes in here, which is another bizarre twist that this one takes. Um, but again, if you are wanting something unique to turn heads, go for this. It's not gonna be something that everybody's going to love, but if you're up for maybe a challenge, if you're up for something different, go for it. It's been around for a while now. Um, I don't know, 2016 maybe, something like that. Um, one that you can get for a great price on discounters. Definitely one to consider. Might not be everybody's first choice, so blind buying could be risky depending on what you're into. But if you kind of have an idea of what you're after, this might be one to consider. Alrighty guys, that's gonna do it for me. Some amazing, affordable designer fragrances that are gonna turn heads everywhere you go. Links will be down below so you can get these at the prices that I've been talking about. And remember, now is the time to be shopping for fragrances and getting the best deals on the best sales and the rarest finds. You will be the first to know if you sign up to my mailing list and texting list down below. A lot of hot stuff coming up here towards the end of the month and just throughout the end of the year in general. So again, jump on the list completely free. You won't regret it. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy. We'll see you tomorrow with another one. Take care.